Hey, young voters. Uh, today, I'm just going to very quickly be going over what the left needs to do after the uh, election of Joe Biden, and who is going to be our next president, um, and uh, you know what this what his election kind of means for the left. So let's get into the elephant in the room. Trump lost, but not by enough, not nearly by enough. We needed to make sure that Trump lost in a resounding way in which the, um, the loss could be heard in the uh, ears of every um, GOP member and uh, Republican voter. Uh, we need to strongly dissuade and negate Trumpism uh, in order to prevent us from accelerating faster and faster towards fascism. Um, but we didn't. Um, we are here, we are now slowly slowing down, deaccelerating towards um, what we were previously rushing towards um, uh, you know, the, a, a new fascist order being created in the next you know, 15, 20 years. Um, now we are now slowly backing away, maybe slowing down um, to a standstill with the election of Joe Biden. Um, but again, it, it, could, it could start accelerating at any point. We're definitely not moving backwards. Um, we're not, yeah, we're just not moving backwards. Um, and, you know, that is because Joe Biden is Joe Biden. We all knew that um, he was not a progressive guy. He was, he was just, he was a, he was a, um, he's the, one of the far right on, in the uh, uh, Democratic Party. He's basically a moderate Republican. Um, and, you know, we knew that going in. Uh, we still voted for him. We did our best. And we did, we did very well. Bernie, in fact, can, did more rallies for Biden than Obama did, in fact. Uh, so progressives did play their role and they should not be um, talked down to um, for that reason. Uh, we uh, overwhelming amount of <clears throat> uh, Bernie voters also voted by him. Uh, so that is not the problem. But the Democratic Party has to get its messaging straight. Um, in Florida, uh, we lost a lot of the minority vote nat nationwide, uh, particularly in Florida. Um, we need to work on Texas, making that a, um, what's it called? Uh, battleground state. What's, what's the, uh, what's the term? Oh my God. I'm totally blanking. Um, anyways, we need to make that a flippable state, um, battleground state. What, what, God damn it. I don't know what it's called. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, I mean the, the party messaging has to go left. It has to. Uh, there's just nothing to say about it. We're not going to win the Republican base, and we didn't. We're not going to win the Republican base by pretending to be more moderate Republicans, because then they would just vote Republicans. There's nothing. There's no advantage to uh, moving further right to appease Republicans. We know that 96 percent, and I repeat, 96 percent of Republicans voted Trump. So the myth of the um, never Trump Republican voter. Is, does not exist. Even, um, you know, however many people anecdotally you might know that uh, we're Republican but um, voted Biden, it doesn't matter. 96% of Republicans voted Trump. Uh, the Lincoln Project was an absolute failure. Who would have thought? Uh, we did. Uh, but, you know, all, all this further and further right, trying to go further right, um, did not work. Uh, on the same day that Florida flipped to uh, Trump, they passed a $15 minimum wage and they, uh, I believe legalized or yeah. Did they legalize? Yeah. Did decriminalize weed. Um, so obviously these progressive messages are not the, the problem here. Um, so, you know, the democratic party has to get their heads screwed on, right? They have to move left. Um, there is no alternative. Uh, other, you know, we can't just be a discount Republican party because then we could just, then voters would just vote for the Republican party. There's no, um, there is really no, that's not the solution. Uh, and we can't shift the party so far right that we, then our party does not represent the ideals we originally stood for. Then there's no point in having the party at all. Uh, we have to move left. The left positions are more popular. We know this based off of polls, national surveys. We just have to get our messaging right. Um, and we have to, you know, we just have to move left. Um, what, so what can, can we do, um, you and me do as the left? So we need to continue supporting progressives like Bernie, AOC, whatever, whatever. Um, we need to 
uh, talk, keep talking politically uh, amongst people our age so that when we do kind of come time to vote, people are primed to vote Democrat or progressive, uh, hopefully progressive. Um, we need to uh, talk to our parents, talk to our friends, talk to our family. Um, we need to do that. I understand it's difficult for some people. So you don't, you don't, um, you know, if you're able to do so, um, talk to them about moving more progressive for Democrat or uh, towards Democrat if they're Republican or maybe just not um, supporting of Trump. We need to encourage the fracturing of the GOP that is currently happening as we speak. Uh, we need to encourage that. We need to, um, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, the split that's going on is between establishment Republicans and working class Republicans, as they would call themselves. Um, some may say it's between uh, mask off racists and uh, raci polite racists. Um, you could, I guess you could also say that. Um, but I'm more keen on the be. Uh, you know, the the ideas being discussed of a working class Republican Party being formed, because if they do that, if they do that, all we need to do is say our, you know, we could say, hey, here here's a nice working class movement, uh, the historically uh, effective working class movement that is not seated in racism. Um, we can say, you know, hey, yeah, 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 I agree with you. The The working class, man, they've really gotten... Um, they've really gotten pushed aside in favor of uh, corporations and the rich. I mean, do you see this man? The uh, GOP, they wouldn't, they, they only want to give you $600. And then Trump said no. And then Democrats said, sure, $2,000. We'll do, we'll do $2,000. And then McConnell, Mitch McConnell was like, eh, eh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, uh, I don't know. Um, so we need to say, hey, Working class, we're working class. We love you. We support you, um, and we do it better. And we can totally win on that front because literally, a working class Republican Party is basically the same messaging as our um, our leftist messaging, but you know, more racist. Uh, right? I shouldn't say more racist. I should say racist, um, or at least rooted, or um, has having some underlying racist tones um, instead of the uh, you know the rich people. Um, uh, causing your taxes to go up. It's the immigrants, um, for example, would be a, a common thing of the working class Republican Party. Um, and, you know, we all know that uh, that that is either uh, a fascist movement or it cannot exist. Um, uh, and, you know, obviously, if it's a fascist movement, we call it out as a fascist, mo fascist movement. So we need to encourage the split of the GOP. Sorry for getting a little derailed on that. Um, we need to, uh, okay, big thing, Georgia, uh, runoff races. Biden can do nothing without the Senate and uh, the House. Okay, he needs both of those. Uh, otherwise, the, he has an excuse to just stall and not pass anything and just compromise and compromise and compromise until the uh, platforms are just re as Republican as they were originally. So we need that. We need those races. If uh, we can get that, we can say, "Hey, Biden, you said you'd be a progressive. You have the entire government at your disposal. Do it. Do it. You said you would." We're here. You have the opportunity. Now do it. All right. That'd be the easiest argument ever to make. All you, all you can say is, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to be progressive. And then we're going to say, okay, we're not going to vote for you. And, um, you know, that that's the best we can hope and, and then hope that um, they do it. But <clears throat> my point being is Biden needs both the House and the Senate. Um, otherwise, he's an excuse to do nothing. And, um, and, you know, obviously he won't even be able to do nothing. Uh, because McConnell is is already promising to block everything Biden tries to do, um, he's already said he's going to do it, I believe. So yeah, it's it's an almost certainty that uh, basically nothing uh, besides ex executive orders can be passed. And then um, you know the GOP is going to say, "Oh, look at this Biden guy. The Democrats they didn't do anything in four years. They had the the House and the executive office, and they did nothing." Um, so vote for us instead, and they'll you know unfortunately that messaging will probably work, and and then they'll be in power again. Um, so we cannot absolutely cannot let that happen. Um, we need to make sure because Trump, mark my words, will run again. If he's not dead or in prison, he will run again. He will win the primary. And then, um, you know, it remains to be seen what will happen from there against whoever the Democratic nominee is. Possibly Joe Biden, but I doubt it. Um, he's, he's a little too old for that. Um, but, uh, yeah, we need to make sure that uh, we, you know, support the Democrats. We push them through the Georgia races. Things you can do for that. You can phone bank. You can text bank. You can uh, volunteer in some way. I will be um, text banking for the Georgia races. Um, you can support them financially, which I've also done. 
um, you can support the, you know, the funds for Georgia. And, you know, we owe it to them, honestly. They, um, uh, I think, it's, was it Amy McGrath? I think it was Amy McGrath. Um, it's, uh, the, it's familiar to me, so for me that name. Let me check. Amy McGrath. No, wait, American fighter pilot. She is like a, she's someone. Oh no, she was the Kentucky person. No, 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 no. Uh, all right. Well, I don't know. I forget the name of the person. Um, but she was, she, uh, really helped out, uh, in pushing through, um, she was really, she was really, really, really pushing. Uh, she, she was responsible for basically flipping Georgia. Um, so we really owe it to Georgia. Um, you know, they helped us win the uh, election with Biden. We really owe it to Georgia to, um, you know, uh, pay them back and help them win their their races. So that's some of the stuff the left can do, and that's some some of the goals that we have. Um, so I hope for this. Hopefully, this video was entertaining, fun, and informative. Um, tell me if the microphone quality is good. Um, if it should be closer or farther, like this, like this, whatever. Um, in the comments, because you know, new microphone. Um, if I'm talking too loud or too too softly, whatever. Uh, let me know, and uh, hopefully you enjoy this. Um, I think hopefully that was, that's all I had to say, um, and hopefully I'm not missing anything. Uh, and uh, yeah. Uh, let me know if you like this sort of style of video of my opinions on what we should be doing um, and stuff like that. So, all right, guys, uh, have a good night or good, good, whatever, good evening, good morning, good anything, um, and uh, happy holidays. All right. Thank you for watching.